Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about friction welding compared to ultrasonic welding. Today we're going to talk about ultrasonic welding and linear friction welding. MTI builds linear friction welders for the solid state joining of materials uh, that don't rotate, right? They are, they are suited better for an oscillatory motion. But we often get asked the question about ultrasonic. What is the difference between the two? Uh, and I'm here to admit that ultrasonic welding and linear friction welding look a lot alike, but there are some significant differences. So in linear, in linear friction welding, uh, shown over here to the right, we have a forge force that we're applying normal to the weld interface, and we're oscillating back and forth to get the relative motion uh, in order to generate heat needed for forging. Um, in this case, we're using a forge force that is measured in tons, tens of tons, even 100 tons, uh, and we have an oscillatory motion that's measured in hertz, let's say 50 hertz or a little bit less, with an amplitude uh, in the millimeter range. In ultrasonic welding, we have a much smaller force here. We're talking probably in the pounds range. We still have the oscillatory motion uh, for relative motion, but now we're talking about kilohertz. So in this case, 20,000 hertz versus 50 hertz. So there's a big difference from a surface velocity perspective, and the amplitude is significantly smaller, fractions of a millimeter, in order to make this weld. And you can see that you'd be applying a forge force while this is moving, and we'd be making a weld here between uh, the green part and the orange part. So a typical ultrasonic weld might be used for like a tube of toothpaste. So this looks like a crimping uh, at the bottom of the tube, but it's really an ultrasonic weld. In linear friction welding, we're welding pieces of metal together. Remember, it's a solid state joining process. And the typical application might be blades to a disc to make blisks for uh, jet engines. These would be made out of titanium uh, as, we're, as we're forging them. So again, very similar in terms of the motion uh, and the use of force to make a weld, but we have very fast motion with low forces in ultrasonic. We have much slower motion uh, with higher forge forces uh, for linear friction welding uh, because it's used for metals versus plastics. We don't typically weld plastics or make machines that, that weld plastics, uh, although we have built very small machines. I'll reference the a uh, micro welder that we recently delivered to the Edison Welding Institute has very low forces, but it also has low frequencies. Uh, so it's still suited for very small metal parts versus welding plastics. And if you have an application that is well suited for linear friction welding, then please contact us uh, and we can do a weld demonstration for you or we can specify a piece of equipment uh, if you need it for your production. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.